We have two lines, we'll just call these two lines L and M, right? And they're cut by a third line, which we're gonna call T, that's the transversal. It transverses or cuts across those two lines. Now, we're gonna look at two different scenarios here. Here you can see the lines are not parallel, but we're gonna look at when the lines are parallel as well, okay? So let's just say that these are parallel. We're gonna look at what happens. But first of all, let's just talk about the names. So when you talk about uh, corresponding angles, what that means is, see for example, like see how this forms like an X? and see how this forms like an X right here. If you were to take this X and place it on top of this X, just slide it down like that, the angles that match up with one another or correspond, those are called corresponding angles. So you can think of it like angle two and angle six, like upper right hand corner, upper right hand corner, those are corresponding angles. Okay, now when the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles, upper right, upper right, those are gonna be congruent, those are gonna be equal to one another, okay? Same thing here, one and five are corresponding, see upper left, upper left, three and seven, lower left, lower left, four and eight, lower right, lower right. But just think about picking up that X, placing on that X, the angles that match up, those are called corresponding. Okay, next we're talking about alternate interior angles. So interior means in between these two lines, so on the inside, right? Alternate means one's on the right, one's on the left. So like four and five are alternate interior angles, three and six are alternate interior angles. Now when the lines are parallel, like over here, the alternate interior angles are gonna be congruent, meaning that they're equal, they have the same measurement. Okay, so if you think about the name, a lot of times that'll tell you or just remind you what it is. Alternate means they alternate, one left, one right. Interior, they're in between, like on the inside. Now alternate exterior, they're on the outside. So you can see one, two, seven, and eight, these angles are on the outside of the two lines here. Alternate means one's on the right, one's on the left. So like seven and two are alternate exterior, one and eight are alternate exterior. When the lines are parallel, the alternate exterior angles are going to be congruent or equal. Okay, now the last one we're gonna talk about is consecutive interior angles. Consecutive means like one after another. Interior means in between. So four and six are consecutive interior, sometimes referred to as same side interior because they're on the same side of the transversal. Okay, so four and six and three and five, these are also consecutive interior. Now, consecutive interior angles are kind of the oddball of the group in the sense that when these lines are parallel, the consecutive interior angles, this angle and this angle, they're not equal, like the other ones we mentioned. They're supplementary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. So this angle and this angle add up to 180, this angle and this angle add up to 180. Now, I just wanna mention one last thing, is that in this diagram, when the lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, even though you have eight angles, okay, like we have here, eight angles, you only have two angle measures. So say for example, this is 120 degrees. This is 120 degrees, these are vertical angles. This is 120 degrees, these are alternate interior. This is 120, these are vertical. This is 60, these are supplementary, they're a linear pair. These are 60, right, because they're, they're vertical. This is 60 here, alternate interior. And then this is 60 because these are vertical angles. But again, you see there's only two angle measurements even though there's eight angles. So. Again, just remember that corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, those angles are gonna be congruent when the lines are parallel, and then consecutive interior angles are gonna be supplementary, they add up to 180. But if the lines are not parallel, they still have those same names, alternate exterior, alternate interior, and so forth. It's just that the angles are not necessarily congruent or equal. So I hope this helped you understand uh, the terminology involved with this uh, geometry concept here. Subscribe to the channel, check out some more math videos on my Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.